So when I talked about the four main ways of solving quadratics, uh, the first way was by graphing. We've been doing a little bit of this uh, before and earlier, but I'm just going to sort of try to reinforce this concept here. So in order to solve something by graphing, here's the main idea. First of all, we want to find, so we need to find uh, the x-intercepts. That's the goal here. We need to find the x-intercepts. So in order to do that, we might look at the graph to estimate. That's a one way. So we might try to estimate them. Or, uh, and better, is to use the calculator to get the answers. So use the calculator to find the, now they're not called the x-intercepts on the calculator, they're actually called the uh, zeros. So that's the main idea behind here. So maybe you look at the graph to estimate, maybe you feel like doing that. So for example, let's say we have a quadratic equation that looks like this. If this is x and this is y then we would take a look and maybe from the graph we can estimate, oh, it looks like it's here and here. So then we could guess what x value that was and what x value that was. But that's not the best way. The better way is to actually use your calculator to find the zeros. And so uh, here's just an example. So find the zeros or roots of the following. y equals x squared minus x minus 2. So that's the equation we're going to try to work with. So what I can do then is to try to work on that. What I can uh, do is, well, I'll, I guess I'll need to sketch the graph. Now I know it opens upwards, but the problem is I don't know much else about it. I can figure out where the vertex is uh, by looking at the axis of symmetry, but I'm just going to try to do this with a calculator because that's the point here. We're gonna be solving by graphing. So what I'm going to do then is take a look at my trusty calculator here and I need to be sure to put in the right equation. So x squared minus x minus two. I press graph. There it is. That's great, so it opens upwards, like I was hoping. So it looks like this. Now what I might wanna do then is maybe capture the screen just so I can show you a little bit more what it looks like. And what I'll do is I'll just, uh, I'll just copy this over here. This is way better. This will supersede my graph here. There we go. That looks way better. Uh, maybe I'll uh, I'll send it to the back just so I can see the letters on top of it with the following. Whoops, I guess I shouldn't have done that. There we go. In any case, this is what I want to do is try to look at this graph. And what I want to do then is to try to find these values here. So the values where this graph crosses the x-axis. These are the zeros or roots or x-intercepts. Remember, this is x, this is y. So I want to find this point and this point. Now it looks like it's minus 1 and plus 2. But in order to be absolutely sure, it helps to use your calculator and ask it. So from this, I'm going to use calc, this little blue one here. So that means I go second trace. I want to calculate the zeros. So I can say left bound. Well, let's take a look here. I've got to have my, this one right here is the one I want. So I have to go a little bit to the left of it. Press enter. This is again so it knows where to look for it. It wants the right bound now. So I go back to my point. I go a few points to the right, press enter, and then go to the middle and press enter. And I do indeed get x equals negative one. So that is one of the roots of it. Oops, so that means I can write that down. So x equals negative one is for sure one of the answers. And if I wanna check for the other one, I do the same thing. So I go back to calc. I press two for the zeros. And I want the left bound. Well, maybe I'll, I'll do it from here. That's to the left of the point that I want. Here's the point that I want right around here. So I'll go a little bit to the right for the right bound, and then back to the middle. I'm gonna press enter. And that means that x is two. So it was indeed what we were hoping, or what I was hoping at least, that these two values right here were fairly easy to find with a calculator. 
Now, uh, your calculator is very useful, it's very handy, but there's other ways of doing it. And sometimes it's actually better to do it by hand. Sometimes that's actually more useful. Or sometimes you don't have a calculator near you. So sometimes that's the, the skill we're going to work on in the next couple of videos is how to actually uh, deal with those where we don't get a calculator, so we have to do them by hand.